Bruce Porter joins us now for this week's Dollars and Cents. Thanks for coming in. Good to be here. All right, yeah. it's good to be here. We are celebrating independence financially. But before we get to it, we're going to remind folks about an event that you and Will have coming up in just a couple of weeks. These are wildly popular. Talk about what you've got. They really are. I mean, it's our basics of estate planning. Mm -hmm. We call it our planning pays off segment. Mm -hmm. And so Will comes in. We do a very short uh, uh, presentation on just understanding the basics. Why do people not plan? Because they don't know who to talk to. Mm -hmm. They don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. And they're scared to death of the price. Yeah. So we break that all down to where it's not a scary event. Now, the 17th is, I think we have one or two spots left. The next one will be on August 21st. So every third Tuesday is kind of the, the timing that and we're running. They fill up. You don't want to wait they forever fill up to try and usually get a seat. two yeah. to three weeks, uh, then they're pretty full. Yeah. So I want to keep that in mind. And you need people to sign up prior to coming? Absolutely. If they do, they'll enjoy it. It's short. It's not complicated. Uh, and we can go from there. All right. That's good. Yeah. yeah. If you think it costs money, you're worried about doing that now. Wait until you don't plan. Yeah, really? oh, then it's going right. to be a real problem down the road. Okay. Now that's we're going right. to talk about that financial independence that we should be celebrating right now. Well, financial, you know, it's a great week to celebrate independence. Why not celebrate some financial independence? Mm -hmm. You know, financial independence typically means having enough income to live the rest of your life in retirement, have it pay your bills without having to work full time. Right. That's the independence. You, that's the independent side. You can do what you want. Now notice I didn't say money. Mm -hmm. It's not if I've got this big bucket of money and I'm ready to retire, I'm going to be perfectly fine. Because if you spend it too quick, if you don't have a plan, you run out of money, then you're, what kind of shape are you in? Everything changes. No longer yeah. independent, that's no. for sure. Sustainable income is one of the most important things that people don't spend enough time trying to figure out what's my budget in retirement, how much income will I need to leverage out of the money that I have saved in my investment plan. Your investment plan is the catalyst that you use to build this bucket of money that you can turn the tap on and let it start flowing out to you in retirement, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Investment planning, the main objective of investment planning is growth, mm -hmm. period. It's all about growth, dollar cost averaging, building shares. The markets are down. Keep putting money in. You buy more shares when the market is down than when you do when the market is up, right? Yes. Kind of a common sense approach. Now, you get to this this uh, age of retirement. Now, Ed, that might be 55 years old for some. It might be 70 for some. But mm -hmm. you get to the point where I want to be voluntarily unemployed. I choose to not go to work. Mm -hmm. But I've got to make sure that that investment plan has built up enough money to where now I can start drawing that sustainable income. Now, what's important about a retirement plan? Safety, security, protection, uh, flexibility, sustainable income, mm -hmm. choices, alternatives. And there are different vehicles for this. That's right. There's lots of different ways to do that. But the focus of your tool in retirement has got to take on more objectives than just growth. Yes. Because growth... Uh, volatile growth can be devastating in retirement. Mm -hmm. Growth right? should have happened years before, so you worry about the growth along the way. Yeah. So that I you mean, can have your retirement. You don't want to carry your investment planning strategies into retirement because it will not create that financial independence. You have a real big growth year one year, what do you do? You spend money. The markets mm -hmm. are down big, what do you do? You don't do anything. So that's affecting your lifestyle, it's affecting your your everything. No matter where you are in your life though as far as looking toward retirement, do you need to remain flexible and be ready to change your plan? Oh absolutely and you should not have everything in one tool Basket. or another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need a variety of tools. You need a good mix. Uh, I have clients that have got uh, brokered variable products. Uh, I've got clients that have got sustainable income. I've got clients that have got cash. And ideally, you want to have a little bit of all that because you want to satisfy your desire for growth. You want to be a little bit of a risk taker with a little bit. That's fine. Just don't use your life savings to gamble with, right? Right. right. We wouldn't do that at Vegas. 
I would hope not. You never touch the left or right. Left pocket, right pocket, or cuff. You pick, just don't go yeah. there. Put your, yeah. You know, you want to be careful how you plan. So planning, it, you know, it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of thought. you got to plan this thing called retirement because what if you live 25 or 30 years mm -hmm. after you retire? You know, there's an argument that you're going to live a third of your life in retirement, and if you're unemployed for a third of your life, you got to make sure you've got enough bucket to sustain you. To sustain it. And Bruce and the people at the Resource Center can help with that. Thinking Absolutely. of taxes down the road, all of those things. Absolutely. If you have a question for him, email him at bporter@color10.com. He will answer your question on the show. Happy Independence Day to you. You too. Be careful. Be, be safe. safe. Have fun. Stick around. The answer to our travel tidbit is up next. Ozarks Live will be right back.